Hey everybody, this is going to be a request video. It's called the easiest homemade biscuits ever. Okay, so this lady sent me this recipe uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, and, uh, I'm right now getting around to making it on camera. <laughs> I've already made it once, I'm not going to lie to you. Because it, it sounded so simple that I, I didn't think it was going to be any good. So. I decided to make it on camera, which means I think it's pretty damn good. <laughs> like I said, it's the easiest homemade biscuits ever. And there's only two ingredients. Two cups of self-rising flour and one cup of uh, whipping cream. And that's it. <laughs> so there's our two cups of self-rising flour, one cup whipping whipping cream, Oh, it's going to run in the side. Let's throw him in the sink real quick. Now, we're just going to get this to, to know each other. All married up, you know, just like a soul, just like always. Now, uh, I've made a lot of biscuits in my life. I've got a belly to show it, too. You know, every time I made mine, it had buttermilk in it, you know, butter or a Crisco or lard or whatever. It makes a, a great homemade biscuit, but... This, anybody can do this. You don't have to worry about cutting in the butter or cutting in the Crisco or cutting in the oil, cutting in whatever. You just do this. And uh, let me get this to know each other. So since you guys are watching this, and uh, we'll be right back. Hang on. All right, so there's our ball of dough. Got one cup. Well, I've already told you what the ingredients was. Now, you're going to notice if you make this, it's a dry dough. When I make homemade biscuits, mine's a little bit wet, but this is very dry. Of course, I didn't probably didn't need to lay down some flour on the counter, but I, I did anyway just to make sure it wasn't going to stick. And I needed it, I don't know, 12 or 15 times. I'm just going to mash this out. And uh, when I get it out to about uh, where I want to, I don't want to waste your guys' time with a simple biscuit recipe. So, be back in a second. Alright, so I've got it uh, padded out. I don't normally use a rolling pan for anything. I just use my fingers. <laughs> I'd say it's about, I guess about a half an inch thick. Three quarter maybe. <clears throat> maybe. It's like I'm going through puberty again. Maybe. Well, uh, in her uh, PM, she sent me. She told me to use a greased cookie sheet. So that's what I'm going to do. Usually I just use my cast iron pan, but I'm following her direction. I'm just going to use a cup or a glass, drinking glass. I cut the biscuits out. And place them over here on this pan. Just like I saw. Those other ones turned out great. I hope these do too. I'm not going to make, try to make very many because it's just me. And I'll probably make that into a cat head. You know what a cat head biscuit is? You get too much uh, dough left over, you just roll it up. Kind of like this. And make one big cat head biscuit. So my mama always called it a cat head biscuit. Like that. Something like that. Tuck it in. Like I said, it's a really dry dough. Let's make one big cat head biscuit. So we got four regular size biscuits and one big cat head. I could have made two more probably out of that. <coughs> so what, two, four, six? I could have got about six biscuits out of that. Now if you made them thinner, you'd get more biscuits out of it. All right, so now she said, preheat your oven to 450 degrees, which it is, and uh, place them in for 10 to 12 minutes. So we'll be back. There they are. 10 minutes later. Look at that cat head. <laughs> what you look what that big bastard turned out to be like. I'm gonna make me, I'm gonna make me some sausage gravy here in a few minutes. I'm gonna use that one to eat with a sausage gravy. Mm-hmm. But check this out with two ingredients. Look what a biscuit. I want you to look what a damn biscuit that is. And I already know what it tastes like because like I said I made them last week. God almighty. 
But this time I've got some melted butter. I'm just going to pour over the top of it. Off all of them here. You don't have to do this, but I just like butter on my biscuits. But I tell you what, guys, if you want a simple, easy way to make some damn good biscuits, this is it. Now, that lady didn't want me to mention her channel name because she don't make videos. She just said she enjoys watching other people cook. And she said she's never made these before and wanted to see me make them, in my opinion on them. Well, there they are. Uh, she signed the PM. What did it say? Miss Anonymous. I thought that was kind of funny. So, there you go, Miss Anonymous. These things are killer. Killer. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Two ingredients, guys. Try it. Bet you like it. See ya. Bye.